Welcome back, everybody. This is awesome. How to enjoy healthy foods, comfort foods that are good for you. Yeah, so she's going to tell us all about it. It's Jennifer Tyler Lee, who's in California right now. And, of course, she's the author of the book, Half the Sugar, All the Love. love good it. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Toronto. I'm missing my Toronto family and friends right now. I hope you guys are holding up okay. Listen, you're holding up a bestseller mm -hmm. right there, and you're holding up very well, my friend, because you're keeping us healthier. Tell us, first of all, why sugar is especially now doing us harm. It's the inflammation in our bodies, right? That it yeah, creates. so I think it's really important to remember it's okay to have a treat every once in a while. We're all craving comfort foods. We're cooking and baking and making cookies and brownies and banana bread, um, but and, and that's fine. But we should also try and give a few healthy boosts when we can. So I'm going to share some healthier takes on our favorite comfort foods because to keep your immune system resilient and strong, you wanna have consistent positive eating habits, more fruits and vegetables, less added sugar. And you don't miss it because it tastes delicious. So you have three recipes. Let's get the first yes. one. We saw okay, some delicious strawberry right, pops. So the, first, the first thing we're gonna make are strawberry cream ice pops. So yeah, yeah. a lot of people are craving ice cream right now, but some ice cream pops can have as much added sugar as a candy bar. Um, or maybe the Easter Bunny that showed up in my basket earlier this week. So instead, we're going to make this strawberry cream ice pop. All right, it gets all of its natural sweetness from strawberries. So that's one pound of strawberries in my blender there. I'm going to add a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, okay. that gives it its creaminess. If you want, you can use yogurt instead there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, and then we're going to put in two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now, this is a good point. Um, you could use honey, you could use maple syrup, but all of those count as added sugar. So honey, granulated sugar, molasses, agave, they're all added sugars. Um, and we need to reduce them because we're consuming about three times too much. Right. Okay, so let me pop this thing together here. And you could do that with any berry, right? Yeah. You can do this with any berry. I actually made them earlier this week with raspberries and blueberries. The strawberries are great because it gives you a boost of vitamin C, and we need that right now to keep our immune systems resilient. True. Okay, Very so yeah. into the blender. Blend it up. These bananas. If you got some ripe bananas. Mango, whatever frozen fruits oh, yeah. you have. Yeah. There you go. Okay, Beauty. and you end up with this deliciousness. Mm. That looks so good. Yes, All right. it's so we gotta get to, okay. uh, you, you showed us that chocolate bar and my mouth started <laughs> salivating. So what kind of chocolate Ooh, delights do you yes, have? Please. How about brownies? Yes. Chocolate brownies? Please. Um, okay, so I love these brownies. They are super popular. One of the most popular, popular recipes in the book. Um, they are sweetened with sweet potato. But no joke, they are super fudgy. Um, a typical brownie from the box has about as much added sugar as a sprinkle donut. Oh. Yes. So this instead has two thirds less sugar, but they're super fudgy. You'll never notice the difference. They store in the freezer, a really great option for you. And also made in the food processor. So if you need yet another reason to love it, that's why. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. And last but not least, we gotta quickly get to this one, your banana bread, right? Banana With dates. Bread. Okay, so trending on Google right now, banana bread. People are searching like crazy for banana bread. This one has zero added sugar. It's sweetened with dates. Yum. Wow. Yeah, it looks so really, good. Really yummy. So check it out. And I feel like that freeze as well. Not that it'll last that long, but for more information, <laughs> pick it up, friends. It's called Half the Sugar, All the Love. Jessica Alba loves this. Jamie Oliver loves this. Oprah loves this. You're getting so much praise for it. So thank you so much for these incredible recipes. Go to thomasallen.ca. And love to your family in Toronto. Thanks so much, guys. Stay, Stay well. well. Thanks, Thanks Jennifer.